Hey everyone, I've been wanting to make an update video for some time, but I've been a little preoccupied lately. I hope you all can understand. Since I've been gone, I've done a lot of new artwork that I'd like to share with you. So let's jump right in, shall we? This is a drawing I did for an art contest I held back in August. It was a character from the game Hollow Knight known as Nightmare King Grimm. I'm making this piece available for download as a PSD file. So, if you're an artist, and or are just very bored, you can download this drawing and make your own edits freely. The layers are lawful good, and I highly recommend experimenting with clipping masks. Check the link in the description for access. For the month of October, I was attempting to do a ghost-themed sketch each day for the entire month. I threw a little bit of improvised lore into the process, and I even worked some game concept art in a couple times. I'll post a separate video with all of the sketches that I did. This is a recently completed piece of Birdo sitting in a nest listening to some music. I really like the way it turned out, so much so that I've made it available as a design on my Redbubble store for anyone that's interested. Next. As you can see, this fine fellow has a contraption in his hands that looks like a multi-purpose tool, which is exactly what it is. The Bruff Rugs use different variations of these tools for both building and as weapons. One end of the tool functions as an adjustable wrench and as a sledgehammer. The opposite end, which looks kind of like a ski pole, is meant to be jammed into the ground so that the user can do fancy schmancy martial arts off of it. The Bruffrogs have a symbiotic relationship with the Burbs. While the Burbs are generally considered more powerful, the Bruffrogs possess more manual dexterity, and so the Burbs offer them protection in exchange for all kinds of inventions that make their lives easier. It's a Burb. It's a plane. It's a Burb plane. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, why would Burbs need planes? Can't they just fly wherever they need to go? Ah yes, excellent question. You see, in the Shattering Sky universe, there are quite a lot of hostile threats roaming the skies. The burbs often require the protection offered by this transportation system. Not only that, but for long distances, it becomes impractical for the burbs to be expected to fly whilst holding cumbersome amounts of their personal possessions. In short, safety and burb luggage. Anyway, I gotta get going. I appreciate all the supportive comments. Here's a few more sketches and concepts I was messing around with for the game. I hope you all enjoy. Until next time, stay frosty.